you, the i and managers, are among the first to see and create a new environment in the Bell system. What's so new and different about the i and environment? Well, you'll certainly continue the Bell system tradition of service to the customer, but you will also expand your role to provide both system management and service management. This new management role changes the way in which you deal with the customer. In addition, you're about to encounter whole new groups of products and product enhancements. To manage these products, you have to know about them early. It's essential that you be aware of all new products, product enhancements, and services as early as possible. You need this information. AT&T Business Services Education has prepared a series of overview packages which describe the new products and their enhancements. These packages are not training packages. They are information packages for you. These packages will not prepare anybody to install or maintain any of the products. For this reason, please make certain that anyone who sees these packages knows the packages are intended as advanced general information only. Anyone who uses these packages must refer to and understand the product documentation before undertaking any installations. While we have made every effort to be as accurate as possible, the fact that we are presenting these packages early in the product development cycle means that some of the information we have may be either subject to change or incomplete. The first of the overview packages covers important additions to a proven AT&T product line. These are the Dimension PBX Enhancements. This overview package will give you a broad spectrum introduction to the Dimension Enhancements. Time Management. Resource Management. These are two of the toughest problems facing American businesses today. If your product can save a customer time or resources, you have a real edge over your competitors. Here's where the new Dimension PBX enhancements enter the picture. Each of the enhancements can provide major time or resource savings. The enhancements include the distributed communication system, two types of message center service, a call management system, data switching levels one and two, the Dimension Prelude with its system management concept, and an energy communication service adjunct. Now, let's take a closer look at each enhancement. The first enhancement includes the Dimension Prelude with its system management purchase option. The Prelude is a new member of the Dimension family. The Prelude will eventually replace the Dimension 100. Dimension Prelude PBX up to 100 lines gives the customer flexibility now, in a smaller switch, features that lead to increased productivity are provided. The customer can design his or her own system under system management and can save money by doing so. The system technician must know what the customer's design contains and must be able to assist in installing and maintaining the switch regardless of the option the customer chooses. With Prelude and system management, the principles of service management are clearly needed. Here, the technician must identify himself or herself as the customer's consultant and provider of support. The Prelude will be available in two models. Model A has one trunk control carrier and one line carrier. It will accept up to 52 station lines and 14 central office trunks. The Prelude Model B has an additional line trunk carrier which increases system capacity to 100 station lines and 22 central office trunks. The reduction of the customer's costs has been the major factor in the design of the Prelude. The major hardware changes include a more cost-effective cabinet design, elimination of the DC power bus bar, and replacement of the standard mini recorder with an Exitron recorder which uses a stringy floppy memory, along with a new reduced voltage power supply. The major software change is the introduction of preset firmware memory for generic programs. The programs are changed by exchanging the circuit pack containing this firmware memory. Costs can be further reduced if the customer chooses the system management concept. 
System management is a custom purchase option being introduced with the Prelude and the Dimension 400. It allows the customer to participate actively in the provisioning of the PBX. It reduces the installation interval from 12 to 8 weeks. The customer will receive a reduction in non-recurring charges by assuming the full participation option. This option requires the customer to participate actively in configuring and ordering the system, inputting station translations, establishing and maintaining records, and making changes and arrangements. The distributed communication system can be used with any Dimension 600, 2000, or custom PBX, which is equipped with Feature Package 8. The DCS provides major time savings by allowing the customer with a multiple dimension PBX system to operate it as a single unit. Dimension Feature Package 8 offers many useful features to the customers, features that solve common business communications problems. DCS allows a caller to call through other switches without knowing the other switches are involved. The features are thus transparent to the users. The DCS can be on the same premises, in a campus arrangement, or in different locations in a metropolitan area. The distributed communication system gives the customer the chance to extend advanced features to as many as 25,000 users. The DCS makes the switches transparent to users so they don't have to remember special numbers or dialing patterns. The DCS also allows central control for complex systems. INM staff and management must consult with the account team to be sure what features are wanted by the customer and why the customer picked DCS as the best means for helping his station users. System technicians must know the dimension features that are transparent and be able to explain the benefits of transparency to customer contacts. The DCS can connect up to 12 individual PBX processors or nodes. This is made possible by adding a data communications interface unit at each DCS node. These DCIUs provide a data link which allows call processing information to be passed from one PBX to another. There are several DCS hardware modifications required in addition to the DCIU and data link. These include an expanded 600-foot mini-tape for software storage and a larger and faster mini-tape recorder to handle the new tape. The existing memory will be replaced by four 256K memory circuit packs. This makes room for the DCIU packs and doubles the memory to provide the capacity needed for the DCS. All the DCS PBX processors can use a uniform five-digit dialing plan. The modified eight-digit console is also required. This eight-digit display is needed to support the five-digit dialing plan. As you saw in the introduction, the dimension enhancements offer two levels of message center service. The basic message center service uses an enhanced autotask system. It is primarily for the Dimension 400. The basic message center service gives the customer professional, personalized message handling. This creates a good impression among callers. It also relieves employees of call management tasks so that they can do the work they should be doing. The system technician must show that the Bell system can deliver not only an efficient message system, but also the continuing consultation and assistance that put Bell System Service so far ahead of the competition. Autotask provides a central answering location for all stations. It allows for a flexible ring count and enables the client to specify personal answering information. Autotask also provides a special instruction signal when programmed to do so. The main difference between the existing Autotask and the Enhanced Dimension Autotask is the movement of the concentrator from the central office to the customer's premises. This concentrator compresses up to 992 stations into a maximum of 24 trunks. The concentrator must be frame mounted. It requires approximately two cubic feet of space. Other Autotask components include a traffic director 
which should be wall mounted within 100 feet of the operator console, a management terminal, operator console, patcher and key systems. Desk space must be provided for the management terminal and the operator console, as well as for the patcher and key system. There's also a message waiting system. The standard system consists of a slot box and message indicator lamp for each principal's telephone. We've just described the basic message center service. Now let's move on to an advanced enhancement, the message center and directory services enhancement. This is for larger dimension systems. It may be retrofitted to existing systems in the future. The advanced message center service gives the customer professional, dedicated message answering coupled with a directory service. It creates the picture as well as the reality of a well-managed business. The directory is online and complete in details. The customer knows that this service can enhance his or her image and communications effectiveness. System technicians must confer with the marketing team to learn the nature of the customer's business that demands an advanced message center service. The message center function provides a professional answering service. Personalized information concerning a principal status will appear on the agent's CRT, just as it does with the basic Autotask system. The customer directory service has a search routine to locate specific information such as a person's room location or organization. The central element of the Advanced Message Center Service Enhancement is an applications processor, which includes a CPU, disk and tape drives, controllers, and a power system. A DCIU is required to provide a data path between the Dimension PBX and the applications processor. This DCIU is the same as that used by the DCS. The larger mini recorder and 256K memory packs are also required. The AP requires an additional cabinet to hold these components. When installing the message center and directory service, you also have to plan desk space for a CRT for each agent and floor space for a hard copy printer. Software changes must also be made to the Dimension PBX. These software applications reside in the AP hard disk memory. Our next enhancement, the Call Management System, CMS, is designed to be used with Dimension 2000 and custom PBXs. The CMS has two major functions. The first is automatic call distribution. ACD can handle incoming calls for up to 400 agents. The Dimension CMS provides both PBX and ACD features in the same system. This can allow substantial savings over separate systems for each service type. The second major CMS function is to provide a management information system which will collect data and generate reports to identify system operation problems. Call management system benefits include improved use of equipment and more efficient use of agents' time. The customer can also make system changes based on the output from the management information system. For the call management system, the system technician must be prepared for complex tasks and the need to consult frequently with the customer's system managers and the account team. CMS provides an outstanding opportunity to demonstrate service management, paying attention to the customer's communication needs and solving his or her problems. Two levels are available. The first, Pro 150, is a basic system which is similar to the existing 12A and 13A customer information systems. For advanced applications, the Pro 500 is available. This system is similar to Amos. It's expected that some of the primary customer applications for CMS will be in areas such as catalog sales, reservations, customer service, credit verifications, and technical support. The ACD function requires a 106B display unit to provide real-time status displays for the agent. Each display unit can handle up to 20 agents. A console is required for each agent. This can be a basic straight line or electronic custom telephone set. 
Because of their expanded capabilities, 10 button ECTS sets with plug-in headphones are recommended. A system status indicator provides cue warning lamps, and a recorded announcement system provides pre-recorded announcements. This system mounts in an auxiliary cabinet. The peripheral interface circuit is used to drive the management information system. A separate Digital Equipment Corporation processor and software are required for MIS applications. Floor space is required for the DEC processor. CMS also requires software updates to feature package 8. Enhanced data switching is being introduced initially for the Dimension 600, 2000, and custom PBXs. It will later be expanded to cover the Dimension 100, 400, and Prelude. Data switching gives the customer great control over information handling functions. It puts contention management into the communication system, making the most efficient use of equipment. The system technician must know the nature of the customer's business and kinds of equipment that will be used in the system. For this product especially, system technicians must encourage the customers to think of them as consultants who can help the customers manage their business communications. There are two possible levels of operation for the data switching enhancement, level one and level two. Level one is a hardware modification only. It provides the following. On-premises switching of synchronous or asynchronous data at speeds of up to 9600 baud. This data information remains digital end to end. The computer or terminal may be connected to either the line or trunk side of the PBX. Other features include terminal dialing, RS-366 dialing, call setup using any telephone set, dial-up computer port access, and off-premises access using private line modems. Level 2 requires hardware and software changes and provides all of the Level 1 features. It also offers multi-module data connections for the Dimension 600, 2000, and custom models. Associated set dialing. Enhanced uniform call distribution. Modem pooling. And data verification by station. Level 1 requires a data interface which is located with the supported terminal or computer and a data port circuit pack located within the existing carriers. Level 2 requires a voice data link circuit pack. 256K memory circuit packs will replace the existing ones to give sufficient memory for the software enhancement to feature package 8. The last of the dimension enhancements is the Energy Communication Service Adjunct. It's available for all dimension systems although most of its use will be with the larger systems. The energy communication adjunct extends the benefits of energy control, formerly found only in feature packages 9 and 11, to any dimension PBX. The management of energy consuming devices can be customized. Energy cost savings of 20% and more can be realized with this enhancement. The system technician can shine as a communications consultant when installing or maintaining ECS. While the system design may be based on careful study and the customer's plans and wishes, there are always opportunities to show that the Bell system knows the customer's business and can find ways to improve it through more and better solutions to communications problems. With ECS, perhaps more so than with other enhancements, the system technician must report back to the account team if he or she finds additional problems or opportunities. This enhancement has the energy capabilities available in feature packages 9 and 11. It's designed to control and monitor the customer's energy uses. This capability provides a minimum of 22 and a maximum of 1008 energy control points. The minimum energy adjunct hardware consists of a standalone PBX cabinet with two new carriers and three new circuit packs. 
This equipment has the capability of up to 784 control points. An additional cabinet with carriers and packs is required to reach the full capacity of 1,008 energy control points. For large applications, this is basically the same as providing an additional standalone Dimension 600 minus the software. In addition, there is a CRT terminal for controlling the system. And a printer is needed for hard copy energy status reports. A 42A connecting block is the interface with the PBX. It's the customer's responsibility to provide all wiring on the customer's side of the block. A power meter interface is needed between the customer's electric power meter and the energy adjunct. Let's now look at support for the enhancements. They all follow the path. This path begins with INM technicians. From there, it is escalated through RMATS and SysTech. If the equipment cannot be repaired at this level, it enters the Western Electric Channels at RTAC and finally the PECC. Let's quickly summarize each of the enhancements. The distributed communication system provides the large customer with selected features transparency between multiple dimension PBX systems. The basic message center service uses Autotask to provide improved message handling for the smaller dimension PBXs. The message center service with AP uses an applications processor to give customers an enhanced message handling and directory service. The call management system provides both automatic call distribution and a management information system. The data switching enhancement will allow switching of data at speeds of up to 9600 baud. The dimension prelude lowers customer cost. Through system management, the customer can save even more by participating in the provisioning of the PBX. The Energy Communication Service Adjunct provides Dimension PBX systems with the energy controlling and monitoring features currently available on feature packages 9 and 11. At the time of preparation of this program, the following dates were given for enhancement availability, subject to later change. Prelude, System Management, Energy Adjunct, Call Management System, and Basic Message Center Service in the second half of 1982. Distributed Communication System, Data Switching, and Message Center Service Directory will be available in 1983. At the time this program was written, the following order intervals were expected, subject to change. Prelude, six weeks. Message Center Service with Directory, three months. Distributed Communication System, 26 weeks, same as Feature Package 8. Data Switching, three months. Call Management System, depending on the number of cabinets, about 18 weeks. Energy Adjunct, six weeks. Training for INM prepared under the direction of AT&T Business Services Education is available. For INM training in support of the dimension enhancements, consult your BSE coordinator or your supervisor. All of these enhancements add time and resource performance to the proven Dimension PBX product line. They will help Bell to keep and increase its share in the PBX marketplace. <laughs>